Welcome back, Scrappers. Uh, today we're going to be looking at, uh, this is labeled as AT&T Partner System. Basically what it is, it's an Avaya. Uh, I don't think this is considered a PBX. This is uh, more of a, a, a touch key system where you have to actually go through and program everything through the telephones themselves. Uh, so this was something that a customer of mine had uh, set up at their location and it's obviously an outdated piece of equipment so they'd ask if I could come in, take it down and I thought I'd make a video out of it. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and get started. I've got three different units here. Uh, and they all look similar to this. Um, they'll have different uh, different units. So this is the Avaya partner system. So we've got the little card here that says it's the partner. Uh, these, honestly, I just throw these off to the side. Uh, inside of that you see there we've got some gold pins along there. but it's more of a hassle to try to tear these open and, and pull it out. I just throw it off into scrap tin. But we'll pull these out and notice we've got three of them here. And on the bottom here is a back plane that this goes into. Get it detached first and then we'll show that. So the, notice we've got the back plane with the uh, little gold slots that uh, the slot cards slide into and we'll, we'll get this pulled out of here and put it in the pile of uh, uh, back planes. Um, this up here we've got another green board and it's basically a power supply for each one of these units here. No real precious metals inside of there but still want to pull it off and throw it in with your materials. Toss it off to the side for the time being and we'll dive into these other units. So these, I've pulled some of these apart before and they can be a little bit of a pain, but they're not too bad. Since we're not worried about putting these things back together, we'll just snap off all the little clips that are inside of it. If we were concerned with putting this back together, obviously we wouldn't be breaking off all the, all the little clips that hold it together. As you can see, it, it is made of plastic, so as I was doing that, I, I busted up the side of it. Okay, let's see if that's enough to pull this thing apart. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. Now, this is telecom grade equipment. Uh, this is on the lower end of the telecom grade. We've got a lot of a lot of chips inside of here, and we've got the power supply down at the end. We'll get that thing pulled out of the way. And notice we've got regular standard power supply. You can throw that in with your power supply units. And the board itself. This one looks like it's stuck in there real nice. So, but anyway, uh, it's not not a real fancy board. I mean, it is a uh, it is a slot card. We've got the nice gold fingers here, and we've got uh, a lot of gold pins inside of the uh, Ethernet cable ports. But notice we've got the silver oscillators here, silver oscillators, silver oscillators. Um, a lot of other just junk on the board. Uh, nobody cares about the uh, all this stuff in here. There's really no precious metals. Uh, some people say that you can find silver in this, but the uh, reality is it's it, it's hard to get it out of there. It's a whole lot better, easier for us as uh, precious metal scrappers or recoverers to just send this off. Let the let the professionals take care of it. If there are precious metals inside of there, let the professionals take care of pulling those precious metals out. Uh, for us, we focus on uh, IC chips, flat packs, that kind of stuff. Uh, I, I do like to collect these guys. Uh, there is silver inside of those, and they are easier to uh, recover from. Still. Still a little bit of a challenge, but a whole lot easier than some of the other stuff that's available. Uh, the back side, you can see really nothing on there. You've got, uh, uh, those look like they could be MLCCs, but honestly, if they're not labeled, if it doesn't show uh, a little C next to it, I don't even bother with them because for me, uh, the MLCCs that I pull off, I want to make sure that they're all clean, they're all 
uh, good quality and I don't have anything contaminating it, throwing, just throwing a bunch of garbage in there. I mean, it's really easy to get transistors inside of there because they can look similar if you're scraping off too quickly. So if it doesn't have the little C next to it, I have a tendency to not uh, just scrape the board. I'll pop them off individually. It takes a little bit longer, but I want to make sure that what I'm getting is, is what I'm actually searching for and not, not a bunch of garbage that goes along with it. So, so there's one board. Uh, in each one of these, they're, they're typically a little bit different, so we'll dive into the next. Okay, same thing with this. We're just going to go through and snap, snap little clips off that hold this thing together. And again, not concerned with not concerned with putting this thing back together, so it's no big deal for us to go through and snap these off. Okay, and as we open this one up, this one looks identical to the last. So nothing too exciting to go over here. We've got our, got our power board. And because this one looks identical, we're just going to move on to the next one right away. Because there's no point in going over this again. Now this one, this one does look a little different. We've got a, a different color casing on it, and I'm hoping that we're going to find something good inside of this one. Again, these these are older units, and they're not. They were expensive in their day. The old uh, touch key systems. These aren't. I mean, they act, they have some of the similar functionality as a PBX, but I don't know if I'd really consider them the same as a PBX. We open this one up. This one does appear to be a little bit different. Got some batteries in there. Throw those off to the side. All right. It makes sense that we would have another power supply in here, so we'll get that cutting out of the way. So, standard power supply looks uh, pretty much almost identical to the, uh, the other ones that we were looking at. Nothing real exciting there. We've got some copper. You can see copper coils on each one of these, but uh, yeah. Nothing as far as precious metals go, so throw that off in power supplies and sell it as is. Okay, so we've got another board. Now this one is a little bit different. We've got some gold pins in here. Uh, obviously the gold pins that we would see for the uh, uh, Ethernet cable ports. And it looks like we've got a few extras on this board. So that's that's exciting. Nice, nice gold pins there. Uh, quite a few... Uh, I see chips. I notice we've got the uh, the, the real nice chip right there. Uh, anytime you see the ones that don't have the edges on them, those those are the uh, the high grade chips. Now this right here, that uh, that crystal oscillator right there with the gold edges, I always like seeing those. I like pulling those ones off. Um, got the gold pins along the edge here on the slot card. Uh, flip it over. Looks like we've got a little bit more on the back side of this one. Nothing too exciting. Some uh, I see chips along the side here. Uh, Again, because these aren't labeled uh, with the little C next to it, uh, I can't say with 100% certainty that those are MLCCs. So even though they're big chips, I would leave those on. I, I don't like pulling them off if they're not labeled. Some people don't care. Like I said, for me, I like knowing that everything that I have in my MLCCs is, is actually pure MLCCs, and I don't have to be concerned with uh, having a bunch of garbage in there when I go through and I'm eventually when I'm ready to process because my goal is to process those but it, it's going to take some time it does take a long time to accumulate them but yes yeah, so we've got a lot of different chips on, on the top here uh, a lot of gold pins for gold recovery little tiny gold pins inside of here that was where the uh, uh, that card that silver card it plugged into initially so good looking boards uh, I, certainly Question whether this is high enough grade to go into the uh, server. I'm sorry, the uh, yeah server board or telecom grade board uh, equipment. I mean, there are a lot of chips on here, but I don't know if they're they're quite populated enough to, to throw it into that that grade of equipment. Uh, something I would want to check before 
before just sending it off. But I mean, they are good looking boards regardless. Nice, nice gold along the edges there. Uh, real pretty slot cards. So in a worst case, it would go into your, your slot cards, but best case, you could put this into uh, telecom grade boards. So if we go back, take a look at this, and obviously you can see this is a short video. Uh, it didn't take very long to tear this thing apart. Uh, literally just a matter of, uh, I think this video, by the time it's all said and done, might be 15 minutes. So real quick, real easy. We've got a lot of gold pins, uh, three different slot cards here. You notice just in, just in a matter of a few minutes, we were able to pull this apart and we've got some good quality stuff here. I'll go through and pull these off and throw it in with my uh, crystal oscillators. We've got, a, we've got a few more on this one and we've got the, the other style on this. We've got the crystal oscillator, the small one, and then also the, the gold edge crystal oscillator. We certainly want to make sure we pull that one off as well and throw that in uh, with our separated uh, crystal oscillators with the gold edge. So, so three boards, three power supplies, and a bit of plastic is what we've got left over. So. Like I said, if you're able to get your hands on these, they're certainly well worth tearing into. They're real quick, they're real easy, and uh, then you can move on to your next task. But yeah, there's, I, I, I do enjoy these because of how quick and easy you're able to tear into them, get everything separated, and, and move on to your, your other recyclable items. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, like, subscribe, and I'm going to continue making more videos. My goal is to put them out regularly. And also another goal of mine is to go through and find some unique items, things that uh, you don't typically see people uh, uh, scrapping out. I, I know there are a lot of videos out there for uh, computers and laptops and servers and that kind of stuff. So one of my goals, I, I'm creating a little stockpile of uh, little gadgets, little electronic things that I can open up and show everybody just because I think it's neat. So keep scrapping and have fun with it and make sure that uh, all, your, all your scrap materials, obviously this stuff, you're going to make sure it gets into the right location so you can make a few bucks off of it. But uh, all the other materials, the plastics and whatnot, just make sure it gets into the proper recycling facilities and not into our landfills. I mean, that's, that's one of the main ideas here. Anyway, keep scrapping, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next video.